Hello, folks. Welcome back for I am the Techno Blue Ranger. So now you need to hit my music. And the only reason I'm here, can I like to thank whoever gave Hobo Town this most magnificent Christmas gift? I don't have to wear that ridiculous setup anymore. I should sit back so you can see me in all my glory. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait a second. Look at what I found here. The hobo house. I found a little bit of the bubbly baby. I'll have both. Yes. Let's see here. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Yes, that's, 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 that's good. And I'll save this for later. For you know what day it is, for it is New Year's Eve, and hopefully this gets up in time. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. A little special show again. The Masters of Parties are here. So now we can officially start our New Year's Eve celebration. Remember though, do not ride your motorcycle after having a little bit of bubbly stay at home chill out at a friend's house or if you're lucky that lady's house yes that's right folks that's your public service announcement other than that please enjoy the new year's eve version of the daytona beach bonfight league as always I'd like to thank you my viewing audience for watching thank you very much be safe and have a happy new year's eve and of course a little bit of the bubble 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 oh the bubble enjoy hello folks and a happy new year's eve to everyone i know hopefully this video gets up before that witching hour of midnight so it's still kind of New Year's Eve. I'd like to wish everyone a happy New Year here from the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Um, it's just been busy today. It was my day off. I said, screw it. I need to relax. So I'm fishing. I had to get a few things. Right now I'm currently making a pizza. So that's going to take some time. But, oh yeah, I can probably get rid of the rest of Yep, so again, this is the Daytona Beach Bump Ellie Special. We're the Techno Blue Ranger, the, the party man himself. It's time! It's time! It's Santa time? Whoa! Santa Claus. That's different. Ho, ho, ho! You Techno Blue Ranger. You have not been a nice person. You haven't won a match in a while, son. It's time to let you know what's up. It's time, it's time, it's Santa time! Whoa, a little fireworks going off. This is a little bit different. Oh, but come on, Santa. talk on social media lately? Let's just say some things were said there that, well, would make a sailor blush. Sorry, Santa. I gotta win that. No matter the format or competitors involved, you know what we're Don't be surprised at all if these guys attempt to one-up each other in this one. Controlling the tempo. Working for control. Controlling the tempo. Whoa, what series of moves by Santa. Oh, I need to avoid that. Oh, the cannonball! On to Santa! Wow! Get 
God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words cool. to describe what this witness. maneuvers by Santa. Big clothesline there. Ho, ho, ho. Nobody home there. Ouch. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Sounds like I'm about to put you down. Great counter. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, wait, nice reversal. This could end it in a hurry. Standing Spanish flies for everyone. Going top rope once more. They love oh man from the high rent this I don't know what that's like. Oh, you missed it. It's too far away. Techno Blue Ranger doesn't know his own strength though. Oh, just a straight punch. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Sounds I'm trying to be good. In full control. Controlling the tempo. Make him tap. Narrowly avoids the attack there. Big belly to back suplex there. He made it. He made it to the ropes. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Oh, the North Pole elbow drop. Look at that. broken windshield. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit? Oh, oh he got out of the way. Techno Blue Ring is trying to be way too techno like. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy, but he was successful oh, outside. Big double axe handle. Shoves him off. Oh, and punch for his efforts. What a move! What a smart move! And he gets out of the way. Oh, wait, nice reversal. He's heading back up. Well, you know what? This is from the top. Oh, he caught him a little bit at least. Narrowly avoids the attack there. Wow, slow move. He's heading back. Oh, oh, they're taking a risk here. Oh, oh, is that enough for the pin? This has got to be it. It's in, it's over. Oh, wow, it's it's Techno it's Blue Ranger it's won. It's yes, New Year's is, New Year's Eve is more dominant than Christmas, I guess. Whoa. Techno Blue Ranger wins. Proving to everyone which is the more dominant holiday, I guess. This time of year is definitely easy. It's time to party, folks. Okay, so this is a little bit of a trivia match, I know. Um, well, probably not up yet, but definitely by tomorrow. I watched actually AEW, the whole Brody, um, Brody, the tribute to Brody Lee, which was. Really good. I mean, it's almost wrestling. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how like John Silver kept it together. Hulk Cabana put it together. The poor ref. It's like going bonkers when Cody hugged him. He just like lost it. Um, so what we have going on again? A little continuation to the Brody Lee. Because again, it's, it's, it's that weird time of year you want to kind of celebrate the man. 
Um, he died really unexpectedly. He passed away really unexpectedly. Um, non COVID 19 related lung stuff. Um, I think Jim Cornette said it best, best where he was like absolutely shocked at the turn of events, mainly because when wrestlers go young, it's either like, like some kind of accident thing or, yeah, this was to be expected. But, and uh, I think it's the real name was John Hughes. I might be wrong with that. But with that, I mean, with that being said, this was just like out of the blue. He was, I think, from the story I was told, um, he was on like, like doing like a class or something, like an aerobics class. It just felt weird, like on the, on the bike, I think. I might get some of the details wrong, but I think that's what happened. Whoa, the broken one. Comes out of the green flame. That's still so freaky. The Von Breaker of Men, the broken. Tom Von Breaker. Look at that. So, I forgot I had that belt on it, too. This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. I think it's fair to say that the athletes... So yeah, so this is a little bit more of a tribute to his life. You'll see shortly, though. Yeah, it's kind of really sad. I thought it was his wife did a really good job of holding it together. Um, the kid kind of understands stuff. At least he was underneath the mask. And he did get to end and get in the head with the kendo stick. So that was actually kind of cool. I bet you a lot of people like to hit and get over the head with the kendo stick. But that was really cool. Here we have three of the six faces of Tom. So we had, we had corporate Tom. Normally he doesn't really tag with people that much. The broken Tom and the first Dr. Tom. Dr. Keller, look how, look how good my waves are going. Look at those eyes, the champion is so many single. That's right, ladies. I actually have a doctor. You do, you do. It's actually a pretty good outfit, I mean, too. Classic. <laughs> I'm waiting for a little bit. I honestly, I know actually Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt AEW posted their, their likeness on their TV channel. I, I kind of want to see if there's going to be any you know, repercussions. Big Red himself. He was there at AEW. That's good to see. He was like, again, on, like, he came out to the ring. He came in the ring. Um, he was like literally on the verge of like, of, like Breaking down. It was a really sad thing that happened. And it was just so unexpected. Like, some wrestlers, you know, yeah, okay, this guy likes motorcycles. You know what's going to happen now. This guy, yeah, he's all jacked up on everything. He has a history of a certain powdery substances of having his upper lip with certain powdery substances on it, to say the least, but. Like, none of that was true for Brody Lee. So it's just one of those really weird, freak things that happened. In 2020, even though it's been pretty good to me, and it's just been so weird. I mean, I hope this is not what, like, it's going to be in 2021. So I don't know how much weirder 2021 can get. So, well, we'll see. And then we're at the outdoor arena, because today it was actually a balmy... Like, like 80 degrees at one point. I got out of the house, it was like 77, I think. And I left to go fishing. So, yeah. Hey, man. We're all in it together, man. Follow the leader. She's the leader. She starts off. It's over! It's over! 
He's starting to show signs of fatigue. And you know, all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. Oh, and early, and he escapes with a kick out. Such as Dr. Thomas, see where he's going to do. Oh, some arm ringers. Oh, right, very right, technical right, wrestling. Any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. Backbreaker, neck breaker. Looks like combo. another check in the win column. Dragon Sleepers applied. The Dragon Sleepers applied to Eric Rowan. Just let go of that. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Oh no, Eric Rowan's a big boy. Eric Rowan's going for a big ride, I think. Very technical doc, Dr. Kellers. So technically proficient. Is, is Ouch. Bunch of very traditional wrestling boots. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying it. Back between the ropes. Let's see if we can keep it between the ropes. We've had enough of this on the floor action. I'm not comfortable when they're this close to me. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it's oh. it wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy, but he was successful outside. Inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring. Oh, it's them. They're inside the ring. Not this. Oh, the hobo breaker. He has the hobo breaker locked in. Oh, the hobo breaker. 
The Hobo Breaker. The Hobo Breaker. Oh, look at that. He was like, he's for a while, too. Such things. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait, how did I get DQ? How did the White family win by DQ? I should have won by DQ. That was weird. But, uh, at least Brody Lee goes out a winner, I guess. So here we go. This is an important match because this is the, the final match. And kind of this journey, this, this, the journey that this tag team has gone on. So if, if they defeat Enzo and Big Cass, they actually then go on to like the main roster of stars. And once they go through the main roster, actually I might have that match too. Actually after they have, go through that, that main roster of stars, then they actually get to face the Cuba Connection with their Intercontinental Lucha Libre Tag Team Championships. But this is it. So remember, once the hate club, because I hate you. Let's see here. They have to go through these two Gambinos. Wow, this is actually going fairly, this is a good paced card actually. Oh, the loose house press! Oh no! And he 
failed to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. Here comes Colin Cassidy. That's how you move Big I think we may be moments away from seeing his breaking point. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Great reversal. Step over to hold. It's applied. Look at that tradi right back traditional here with you, Matt Lesson. From this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. Big cast goes down. Whoa, that's like a one count. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? There's no keeping this guy down tonight. I think we know what this is. No, I think it's some tag team for this. He's seen it up. Here he comes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I hate you. They won the I hate you. You know what that means. They're going on to the main roster people. Highlights here. Let's check them out. The I hate you. Here are your winners and the crew. There we go. That's pretty cool. Here tonight. Love him or hate on him. to the main That's roster for these two. Match. Who they're going to face in the main roster. Victory. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. Oh, that's when right. This, this is it. Tomorrow's live show on the I hate that it's over. Yes. This was because Alexa Bliss was looking way too cute. Twisted Pixie got a little bit jealous. She doesn't think Alexa Bliss has been twisted enough by the fiend Bray Wyatt. So she has to come out and show her what being twisted is really like. No, this is always extreme rules with her. So you know someone's going through a flaming table. It's not a proper Daytona Beach Bump Fight League wrestling show unless Twisted Pixie puts someone through a table. This one's going to be electric. Let me hit her with a good I still want to know how she takes her bra off before the matches. That's just amazing. Notice she has on, on that rather plain looking bra. Somehow, she manages to take that off and then throws it in the crowd. I don't know. That's, that's kind of interesting. But it fits well for, for the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. Again, you see the police APCs right there in the background. Jesus! Dude, Alexa Bliss has a face of like a freaking 16-year-old in this thing. This is terrible. I'm surprised these creators weren't arrested. Wait a second. I'm surprised I'm not arrested for saying that. Alexa Bliss looks like a freaking 15-year-old high school student. What the hell's wrong with these people? She's just watching Alexa Bliss's entrance. That's kind of fun. You have to see the raising of the belt. Let's see it. Again, police APCs. Belt's going up there. We'll see if Alexa Bliss is twisted enough to take it from the only twisted one. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition. It's 
actually right because this is an extreme rules match. comes out, table gets set on fire, someone goes through the table. Look past the ring at the foul. Now she, uh, she. like this one that made Divas matches can't miss television. Get it back into the ring now. Can you get... Oh, not again. Not again. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, my. Get the medics down here. Oh, not again. Not again. This Justino! Spot. This made her famous. Oh, there's a flaming table. Oh my god. Oh wow! She went right through that. Fireworks are not, those are not gunshots, folks, don't worry. Even though this is Daytona Beach, it's still pretty calm to see her. Folks, yeah, the she's title is dead. on the line of this one, and I can't remember a more highly out. anticipated title defense. I think I just found the angel I'd like to be touched by. 
Unless she's just still laughing at Alexa Bliss. There's nothing to laugh at, folks. Can you imagine the celebration that will take place probably into the wee hours of the morning? If we find a new champion here tonight, oh, she's clearly not shy about proving her dominance. She for us. Oh, it's too close to that baseball bat. Sniffing around. It's gonna be awesome. How about that? Actually, it's pretty good on your nose. I'm gonna get a bridge champion. First belt I ever made, look at that. Two US slugs on it, big lobe on it. It's so good, so stylish. Classic black leather. So good looking as that belt. Oh, and here we have In the Goddess of Vita playing. You know what that means, folks. Only one person who comes out even to the remake of Indigo of Vita, but someone who actually knows Indig what Indigo of Vita is. Someone who actually remembers who, who performed Indigo of Vita, and that's all Tom. Here he comes out in his comfy black sweatshirt, his mask, he doesn't want to show his face. He has his re old school wrestling headgear on, comfy sweatpants, his Chuck Taylor. Dude, he keeps us all about the comfort right now. Even during the belt presentation, 
music continues. I can, this is this is the song In the God and the Vida. This music keeps on playing through the introduction. Whoa! I can't hold it. Yeah. Pretty simple gesture there. God damn, why does your music shut off? You listen to me, you young whippersnapper. This is in a kind of vida. One of the longest songs ever made. We're going to hear the whole song. All 24 minutes. All along to the line on this one. But make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. You know, after all the pre match hype, I expect this one to be one for the ages. Oh, the skull crushing. Oh, Dr. Tom's busted open. Oh, Tom's already busted open. That did not take long. That did not take long. Stunner. Stomping the mud hole in the mist. Oh, he missed. Oh, oh, nobody home that time. Hey, he's going for it. Again. Ouch. Bonk. Get out of here, Miz. Fight me like a man. Oh, oh back elbow by Miz. Thrown into that unforgiving steel cage structure. This is how we used to sell things. Back in the day, go in a cage and figure it out. Around the world, we want to say hi to them, all the countries, even Manila, where I use their envelopes. Manila's not a country. Around the head of the Miz, again, right on the if forehead of the Miz. This, pace, this can turn real Signature. ugly, real fast. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Oh no, oh, the pile driver. That's it. Why isn't the Miz busted open already? Today, too fast. Miz is in trouble. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. I tell you, give me back my belt. Had to choose. <laughs> oh, Maurice, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Maurice. I had to bust open the maze. The maze is busted open. Old Tom's busted open. 
It's all good, baby. Oh, Tom, I'm dead. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. Will it be enough for the win? What's he doing? Wait, what the Oh, no. Yeah, the front row's empty. That's weird. Wow, they're actually heeding the advice. Although they're pretty much packed in there, though. Trying to give these up to something. Oh, look at the emotion. Look at him. King, I'm not comfortable at all watching this. I haven't been comfortable since they broke out of the cell. Come on, guys. Get down from there. And this is all kinds He's of stuff. He's in a little up. trouble. Much more this, and I doubt he'll be able to continue. The human body was not designed to absorb this type of damage. But I know this. The fans of the WWE. Oh! Slow crushing finale on the, on the cage. Got out of the way of that one. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, oh my god. This is gonna, someone's gonna die. Oh, oh! The Miz just got wrecked. Look at that, the visceral image of the Miz busted open. Dr. Tom retains his belt. Wow. That was actually pretty entertaining. The pile driver sends me through to the bottom. And then the bloody man. Supposed to be the good guy. Ouch! Oh, Bonk! Ouch! What are you doing? You, you, you don't want to go this way. Come on, man. What's up with this? Oh! So that's what you get when bad things happen. The challenger's taking on some offense. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. But I know this, the fans of the WWE, both here and at home, are all fired up for this one. What a reversal! Not today, too fast! I think we know what this is. Oh! The Hobo Breaker! The Hobo Breaker! The Hobo Breaker! show folks again I'd like to thank everyone everyone for watching please just just stay home don't drive it's amateur hour out there everyone else enjoy New Year's Eve hopefully this gets up soon bye